This video is not intended for children. It is also not intended for cabbages. In recent years, many cabbages have been masquerading as human beings. Stop that. Likewise, many children on the Internet have been masquerading as adults. You should probably stop that, too. In any case, this video is intended for audiences from emerging adulthood, ages 18 through 27, onward. Unless you are a cabbage. So, after my Yu-Gi-Oh! experience, I started wondering what other vistas there might be for me to conquer. Isaac was gracious enough to offer to introduce me to gaming. Well, I know gaming. I was gaming since 1978. I was a ref in 1979. Granted, that was tabletop and not video gaming, but, you know, it's all gaming. How different could it be? All right. Where's the joystick? This is the controller. I can see that. And we're back with Spyro again with Coyote. With Coyote. It's Coyote with Isaac also here, really. Ah, uh, okay. And... Curse of Gen Z, if I defy you! Splatter! Ah, I get to explain something. Um, uh, I love explaining things. He knows that he's not dropping gems, he's dropping little pearls. Surrender! There you go. Alright, pick up all the pearls. As you pick up these pearls, note that pearls are to surround your uh, little life icon there. Yeah. If you collect, I believe it's uh, 10 of them, actually more than 10, I think it might be 15 or 20, um, you get extra life. Oh, so it is actually worth re-killing enemies even after you've already taken your gems just to get those little pearls. It's one thing that Spyro 1 has that the other two games don't, is that little pearl thing. Is it too bad I can't snipe my enemies from a distance? No, I feel it's like it's my duty to let you know that he still drops some more pearls back there that you can pick up. Like, you don't have to, but I just know someone's gonna, gonna notice. Yeah. Alright, I did my duty. I told him about the pearls. Alright, alright. There's also some gems on top of those mountains. Yeah, first I need to go back and get those books. Okay, uh, that's on the left. And uh, there's some. If they there they are. Yeah, that's because if, if they didn't just dissolve. There they go. Okay. Point. It looks like you need 20, because I, I saw yeah. 5, and it goes about one fourth of the way around your time. So you need 20. Take him out! Ah. Oh my gosh! Ah. Yeah, charging in Spyro 1, you, you charge with much wider turns. Spyro 2 and 3 have much sharper turns to charge. Um, okay, guys, there's a limit as to how many places you can be hiding. I will find you. Check the hedges. Sometimes go to hide in the hedgeways. Oh! Uh -huh. Oh, there he is! Ah! Uh, kill that coward! He's probably back in the hedgeways still. Hedge Mage? Oh, there he is. That's probably a different guy, I think. He's scared like four of them. Yeah, kill him! Kill him! He's just gonna circle that pearl. Kill him! Yeah! Get that pearl. Ha! Ah, thought you could escape from me, did you? You thought wrong. Okay, destroy him. Yes. Ha! Ah. I burned his butt. Two the hedge There he is! Yeah, there's a lot of butt humor in this. Oh, we have not even come, come to the actual butt humor. That's, that's yet to come. Oh, that is yet to come? That's yet to come. The butt humor is, is later. Also, you can grab an extra life out of that chest there. Uh, I'm trying to look at something. Alright. Yay! Another extra life. I devoured the soul of yet another of my kin. Rejoice! Yay, devouring souls! Yay! There's also a level back What a back wonderful here. message for today's youth. There's also a level back here if you wanted to go to that one. That's an option. Past his base is Dark Hollow. Dark Hollow? Oh. Which is... Nothing but good can come Which is essentially a, the canonical level too. And off to Dark Hollow! <laughs> Doink! There's your treasure. 
Yes, you got, you know, like, Jen. Oof. Alright, welcome to Dark Hollow. Uh, I was too busy stealing lives. Whoa. These suckers think they're clever. See, they got shields? Uh huh. Yeah. The dragon will explain this, but you can't flame shields. Well, I mean, you can, but it's useless. See? It blocks your flames. You gotta charge enemies with got shields. Uh, what the fuck? That's just fodder. You can kill them for butterflies. They may be close to you. Yeah, I don't need butterflies, though. You can be. I think the little, the little uh, buck toothed frogs are cute. Oh. You took a lower ledge to uh. there. This is stuff you uh, would have had practiced in the homeworld. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Well, you guys used to gotta, gotta, uh, just do some little twitch movements on you know, tiny platforms. Twitch the arms if you want to go. There you go. Then you can just go and jump over. You get it, you get it. Toing! Nice. Well, here's another chest. Oh, did you see that lag? What the heck is that? I had lag with this one. Well, uh, I don't know. I thought it was just for my effect at the time. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I should have put it out. And he goes to chest and no. <laughs> This must be an important chest. It got a slow motion introduction. Hey, you should go kill those guys. Just in general. Okay, I love how his weapon is a giant hunk of, of mutton. <laughs> Look at it! Yeah, it's a giant see, mutton. If, if I just wait here long enough, he won't he will, have a weapon. He'll eat his own weapon, <laughs> and then he'll be defenseless. First of all, you force him to drop the banana. Then, you eat the banana, thus disarming him. You have now rendered him helpless. Suppose he's got a bunch. Shut up! Yes! <laughs> if only. Ah, oh, you forgot to climb it. Don't you hate it when that happens? Wait, did you press X like multiple times? I think he's like so stark. I don't know. Uh, it's possible you may be asking the wrong person. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Alright, alright. Going across. Ha! And then, I will fly across. And I will smite. I mean, we want to... Those guys are going to have to glide to... Yeah, it's really bizarre. It's um, that chest, man, I'm telling you. Might, might be. Those guys don't even glide to each other. I'm going to go to those guys are happy. Okay. Oh, also, I'm sharing trivia just because I know there's stuff about Spire that you don't you still don't know. Right. Okay. But, Tiny uh, trivia. That's cool. Well, um, the reason why Spyro's enemies behave the way they do, all with their own unique animations, interactions, and stuff. Um. Uh, there you go. Is because they were uh, Insomniac was actually directly commissioned. Uh, by uh, Universal, I, th I think it's Universal. Or yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, Universal. By Universal to create a game that had a focus on having dynamic, uh, interactive enemies. Because most games, enemies were just static and didn't really do much. Uh, see, see, for example, Crash Bandicoot, they just kind of paste the pre-organized pre pattern, they don't really do much. Insomniac was tasked with breaking that mold and giving characters, uh, just giving the background enemies more life, more interactive, more interactivity. I think he did a pretty damn good job. Hi, oh. Alvin. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Have we met? Of course, they wouldn't bother me. But we're the same it. color. Metal armor is fireproof. But Are I'm you my father? I take care of them. I'm not your father, Spyro. Piss off. <sighs> and the never-ending quest of loneliness to find my sperm donor continues. Ha, huh, Sparks? Oh, aren't you just a little ray of sunshine <laughs> today? <laughs> uh, game saved. Uh, actually, Nork is his father. That's 
That's his deepest. Oh deepest. god, nasty north is Spyro's father. Nasty north is Spyro's father. This is this is gonna end up on one of those really dumb scandal shows where they like prove out like oh and he's the father. You know the ones I'm talking about, right? Tragically, yes. I'm so sorry that you do. It's it's I, fucking I familiar abhorrent. with the concept. Yes. And they are terrible and a waste of well, everything. Perfectly good. It's like, that, okay, I love that the tits of the tits of blades are red. That's, that kind of suggests. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he large enemy. Yeah, yeah, large enemies just do not cannot be charged. They must be flamed. A dragon around here will explain that. Yeah, after I've died a couple of times, the dragon will explain. It. It's good to know. Yep. So, uh, the reason why it's structured like that is because the game gives the player the, op the, the opportunity to discover it themselves. If they still haven't learned it, then Dragon's like, oh, by the way, this is how this works. Yeah. Which, okay, all kidding aside is rather cool, because I... Even being the hopeless noob that I am, I don't like being spoon-fed everything. Yeah. You know? I'd have the opportunity to explore and challenge yourself. Alright, there you are, you little bastards. Get them. Oh, wait, you asked, you're talking about wanting to flame things before and have them react, right? Down there, those piles of woods, you can, wood, you can light them up as little, little uh, fireplaces. Uh, the ones that are back in the area you came from. So if, when you're coming through there later, you should do that. Yeah, these guys normally have their shields up when you get near, but as you uh, caught them before at one point, one of them had their shield lowered and you actually managed to flame him. Yeah. Oh, here's a nice one. Oh, look at that. I'm especially looking forward to seeing Dark Hollow in the Reunited. I'm looking forward to everything in the Reunited Trilogy, but Dark Hollow is going to look amazing. Wait a minute. Look at that! Isn't that cool? That is awesome. The pirate lit. The pirate lit too. They stay lit up for the rest of the time we're in the level. Which is just awesome. I am the Lightbringer! Call me Lucifer! Okay, well, I was gonna take it in a much cuter direction and be like, oh, look at that as far as, like, marked his territory or stuff. Okay, don't let him hit you again, or else you are. Yeah! You like that? Now oh, you are. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be careful you're not to do that. You're freaking Spyro. Alright. I'm, I'm somewhere. In this. You're the, the last dragon you uh, freed. Well, yes. There's the chest. So we go that way. Yep. Navigation. Oh. These guys respond though. Ooh! Screw you! Yeah! Nice! Alright, alright. Get in the hang of this. Where's the other one? There, there he is. is. Yeah, I was I'm like, okay, please don't be sneaking up behind me while I painstakingly orbit around myself. Yes! Yeah. Nice. And the pearl is mine. Also, I recommend slaying a froggy to so protect you your health. Yes, yeah, slaying. Where's my froggy? Where's my froggy? You'll find him, damn you! Find him. Bear. Ah, hello, sparks. I am Lucifer Morningstar. See, I was going to bring that in a, in a much cuter direction, and you just want to make it about Lucifer. Lucifer could be cute. Why can't he? I... I'm sorry? Oh, oh, wow. There's like... I'll cut you. They both took a swing. I'll cut you, man. That's great. Yeah, these, Free these, the dragon. See, these, you're these beasts are getting you know, all gangster and stuff. Yeah. I'll cut you. You come in and I'll uh, cut you. Alright, there's that guy down there. Uh, he seems awfully busy. He can disturb me. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna free the dragon. Yeah, free the dragon. Free the dragon. Darius. Rescue Darius. Big enemies like this good orc with a club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. Before anything else happens. Yes. Save my game. 
Alright. Oh yeah, you're just waiting. Yeah. But there's also a phone stand there, so I can replenish as soon as I kill him. Yep, you just gotta kill him before he takes you out. Okay, which one is fire? That is fire. Alright. Get him! Nice! Wasn't ah. even a thing. That's how you do it. That's how we do it. This is how we do it. I'm so sorry. Oh. Nope. 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 Looks like I pretty much. It looks like I drained this place dry of its resources. So well, there's some gems there, and there's a whole other little sort of side area that eventually leads to the key, and then from there you're done, pretty much. Alright. Yeah. I'm. I'm not going to go until I have siphoned this whole place of its resources. I am Spyro the Strip Miner. Well, I'm gonna get them when I return home. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I have trouble steering this beast, so, uh. Some stuff Gems! And life. Which you could use after your death earlier. Mom, your soul is mine. Yes. I am darkness. I am power! I am darkness! I am the night! Fear me! Fear me! Fear me! <laughs> Your perishing flames! <laughs> Evil doers are aware? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> alright, all right. I need to go back to yeah. where that chest was. Did I get a key? Uh, there's a key in another section. Uh, as you continue to leave here, it'll be on your left, and it goes kind of down. Yeah, keep, uh, keep going. There it is. Aha! Uh -huh. Lots more gems. Oh, watch out! Yeah, you gotta wait to turn those back. There you go, got him. More gems. Oh, he's just not going to come to me. No, he's just, he's just pacing, and you gotta charge him once his, and call well, flame him once his back is turned. I said charge more symbolically, but that's gonna sound literal in this context. In this context, yes. Oh, oh, well, I lost a good track of time there, but well, yeah, we're gonna take this guy out. Yeah, right. take him out. Take him out. That'll be our finale. <laughs> no, no, that's not working. You gotta back up and then. Oh, okay, apparently. Yeah, Alright, he is really dumb. Awesome! Well, on that note, ah. uh, we are just about out of time for this episode, so we will end it here. When we next pick up, we will probably be wrapping up Dark Hollow and moving on to the next, because we're just about done here. So, next episode. Feel me!